What's up guys? My name is Michael and today I want to show you how you can get unlimited photo storage on your phone for free. I know that sounds too good to be true, but you remember that Google Pixel advertising that said that you get unlimited photo storage? The one thing that they don't tell you is that you can get it with every phone. So let's go into it. One of the problems with today's smartphones is that you never can have enough storage. And uh, that's the reason why I bought the iPhone 10 with the 256 gigabyte storage, because I love to take photos with my iPhone. So the good thing is that I'm not gonna run out of storage anytime soon, but the day will come, I know that. And even for you, if you have an older phone or you cannot expand your storage, or if you just want to back up your photos while you're on a journey, just install the Google Photos app. Now the Google Photos app allows you to sync your phone's images with the cloud. And you have two options. One option is to use the original image quality without any loss, just the way it is, which sounds pretty good and which sounds like the way to go. But the problem is that you can get only 15 gigabytes of storage that way, which is quite a lot anyway. But uh, I was talking about unlimited photo space. And to use that, you need to select an option that says high quality. So high quality sounds like you would lose something. As a photographer, you're always concerned about image quality, of course. And for that reason, I made a comparison on the actual image loss that you get when you select high quality. First things first, I promise you won't see any difference in everyday use. And I'm sure you won't see a difference in a pretty large size print as well. You can see a difference if you put the images side to side, but you have to look really, really carefully. And that's why I made this video in 4K that um, when, when we're going to the computer right now, I can really show you where the differences are. And I'm pretty excited to do that. So let's go into it. All right, guys, so we are now on my computer where I have already downloaded images that I want to compare. So we have one shot from London and we have another shot from Thailand. And I chose these two images because I can see a lot of detail in these and they make a good comparison. So let's open these in Photoshop and we use the image profile that's in the image and uh, you can see the image names right here. We have the original and the Google image. Let me go back to the to the finder and show you the uh, information on these files. You can see that both of them have the metadata inside and the original has 4.8 megabytes and the Google image has 2.8 megabytes. So that sounds like a drastic reduction in quality, but you can see the resolution here and here is exactly the same. So if we, if we go into a side-by-side -side comparison, we have the original on the left and we have the Google version on the right. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to the same magnification. So both are at 300% and you see the same image magnification. And now you can see the same part on the different versions. And I bet that just like me, you can't tell any difference. Now let's go somewhere else. Let's go right into this area. And we do it in this image as well. And uh, 
it's the same like in the other area where you know if you're really really picky and I don't know if it's even visible in a video on YouTube but this area here it shows a little it shows a little bit of compression artifacts right here which you don't have over there at least uh, if you want to see something then you can then you could see that but to be honest there is no noticeable difference we're going into 400 percent right now and uh, oh sorry 400 percent going to the same spot and I bet you cannot tell any difference at all so for saving this kind of memory and storage it's quite amazing that you can save that much without any difference in the visual appearance so let's open these other shots as well okay and just like we did on the London image we're going to do it with this one as well I'm gonna zoom in to this area at 300% uh, we're gonna do it over here as well 300 going to the same place and well guys there is no difference in reality I mean there might be a difference in in some very special cases but to me that's really awesome and I'm really fine with that compression and uh, it's it makes this kind of app really really usable and uh, I think a lot of photography enthusiasts and professional photographers or whoever takes photos with their iPhone might really enjoy using that. One more awesome thing about the Google Photos app is that you can organize your images in various categories. Okay, now the really great thing about that is that Google creates these categories for you. So you can browse by objects like uh, bridges or trees or skateboards or whatever it is. Google will use its AI technology to recognize the things that are in your image to give you these categories. Now you can also browse by dates or faces or all kind of other things you can imagine. So have a look at that feature. Now another great feature is that when you're working on your computer you can access all your phone's images just in your browser. And Google even shows you the live video that you captured with that image. So it also makes it very easy to share your images and you don't have to send them from your phone and you don't have to scroll through all of your images which is kind of annoying and um, you may also download the full res version through your browser. So one more thing that is really important is that the so-called high resolution image is not downscaled. It's just more compressed than the original image. So maybe the name is not as well chosen as it could be but um, it doesn't really matter. Okay guys I hope you could see that the image quality loss was really not that much and you really have to dig in really deep into the image to see the differences that uh, have occurred during this compression. So for me that's a great tool to back up my images while I'm on a journey at least the images that I took with my iPhone and it's a really great way uh, to know that if I run out of storage I can delete the images from my phone and just keep shooting. Please keep in mind that if you're not on a Wi-Fi connection and you enable sync through uh, your cellular network this is going to eat your data plan up really really quickly so make sure you always sync in Wi-Fi. Anyway guys let me know about 
your opinion on this topic. Would you share your private images with Google? Do you think the image quality is okay? I'm really excited to hear about your thoughts. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit subscribe. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.